what have I done? With the new expansion just around the corner, I decided to help you a bit with creating a new character. You know, because I'm just like that. And to do so, I created a little something. Am I proud of what I made? I'm, I'm still, I'm legit not sure if I am. Lo and behold, something I call the ultimate Final Fantasy 14 race chart mill. That is also, it, it's only for mill characters. So how does this work? Well, great question, Nathan. Thank you so much for asking. Here, let me walk you through. It. You basically just answer some questions and then you get your character. It is as easy as that. We start off <laughs> with an easy one. Does your family's bloodline end with you? Let's say you answer yes, it will end. My family is fucked. First of all, you are an honest person. I like that. But now we need to know why the bloodline ends with you. Is it maybe because you are attracted to the same gender? Because if that is the case, I would like to congratulate you with a perfect match. Give it up for Viera! Small, feminine, lack of testosterone. You feel me? They are just like the fanboys of Final Fantasy. And the beauty is that everybody knows and accepts this. And I'm not only saying this because I risked it all for a feminine looking Fiera who turned out to be a male Fiera. Did that change anything? Unfortunately, no. They are like NPCs somewhere in the background doing something and nobody really pays attention to them. And in a game like Final Fantasy, that is a good thing. Next question. Do you make other people uncomfortable with just your presence? Because if so, then you should definitely check out Lalafell. They're just I, I have, I legit have no idea what they are even till this day. Everybody loves and fears them at the same time. I mean, that is quality. There is no place for romance in the realm of Lalafels. And if you are a Lalafell who thinks that you are the exception, please know that you are not the exception. You are the victim. Hey, here's a fun date ID. Report your significant other to the FBI. All right, then on to the next one. When a girl asks you for your number, do you refuse to give it to her because, you know, it is your number and also your mom gave it to you? you but if you answered yes to that question then you will be redirected to another question but before i show you that question i need to show you something else because if you are still hopeful that your family's bloodline doesn't end with you then you probably would have answered most likely here which also brings you to the same question that the other thing just brought you to i struggle with words and logic at the moment so are you perhaps on the spectrum wait don't answer that <laughs> let me uh, let me most definitely a yes go that way and meet Allison <laughs> I don't know why, but it's just that everything an Allison does reminds me of someone who is on the spectrum. Just look at them running. It is... <laughs> I like it. They just fill my heart with joy. <laughs> and also <coughs> my throat. <coughs> no homo. I just love them. And they're also quite unique. But that has something to do with that Melman looking neck probably. They retreat to the background only to fucking thrive there. They are kind, friendly, and overall very silent. And Jura thinks that is muy bien. If you know that you are on the spectrum, but you refuse to test yourself like a certain someone talking to you right now, then you are probably cut out to be a Rogadin. I mean, just think about it. How would you describe the personality of a Rogadin? Here, let me help you. Being unable to sit still, especially in calm or quiet surroundings. Excessive physical movement. Excessive talking. Acting without thinking. Interrupting conversations. Hey, the thing is, you don't have a quirky personality. You have undiagnosed ADHD. All right, so now we can choose which way we continue. Let's do, uh, let's stay on this side. And then we go down because you have answered no. And then the next question for you is, do you like big strong men? And here two answers are possible. If you read that question and went all like, yes, <laughs> I love them. Then you can take this route. And you enter back at Viera. Go play Viera. If you calmly answered yes, then I would like to introduce you to Highlander, aka Thailander, aka the fucking Norse gods of this fucking game. I am on my way. You might think that playing a year in this game is being a basic bitch. Don't think that because legit that is not the case. We have an even more basic race in this game. More on that later. Also, if you play as a Highlander, you don't get any eyebrows. For some reason, you are not allowed to. You have to understand that this game is 10 years old. But every time this game got an update, Yoshi P, the creator, the director, I have no idea what his fucking function title is, he looked at you Highlanders and spat in your face, walked away and farted in the process. Your existence bothers him. And that's why you don't get your eyebrows. <laughs> 
Different questions, new chances. Here we go. Do you like men in general? Again, too excited. Get out to Vier where you go. But yeah, we have a downgraded version of a Highlander with eyebrows, which goes by the name of Midlander. It legit is in the name. It says Mid. It's a Midlander. It's just... Meh. There is only one thing I'm going to say about Midlanders. Don't take this hairstyle. You are not the main character of this story. That title belongs to one of the 20 mil Vieras in the back. At least that, that is what they told me. Like... Every single one of them. Hey, and then we go over to the other side of this whole uh, chart thingy. Remember this question? Well, if, if you said yes, you went to the other side. But you could also go down if you said no. Then the next question is going to be very important. Have you ever uncontrollably pissed the floor? <laughs> Was barking at your little sister because she told you that you are not the alpha in the house. And if you say yes to this, just get your ass over to Rodkar. And if you said no, I want to know if you lied about it. Because if you lied, come clean and we'll send you to Mikote. So why do we make a distinction between the two? Well, that is because both classes are basically furry classes. The only difference being that the people who play Rodkar, they just embrace every stereotype there is to Rodkar. Which is very... Very respectable in my opinion. Imagine not being a furry and being called a furry on a day-to-day -day basis. I would question life at that point. A and some people are actually not furries. They just really like the unique character design, which is also very respectable. You're still playing as a fucking furry though, but... Uh, yeah, yeah. You are basically wearing a tail in public. And then over to the most basic race in Final Fantasy. The people who wanted to do something else only to find out that everyone else was doing the same. Oh, you spent two hours in character creation. Why? 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 Ah! Character creation only goes a certain length. Let's say you only have four options for a face. Two of them are just going to suck ass. And then you are left with just two options. Every other person that wants to make a Mikota has the same two face options. And listen to me. The change in your face is not made with the changes of your nose. Look at this. Minuscule. And you can try adjusting your length all you want. But in the end you're going to be one of the smallest faces in the game. But that doesn't matter to you because in your head you look like... Alright then, for the last one, the last race, I have no idea how to present this to you, so I'm going to do it like this. I, th I think this contains all the information you need. Yes. Thing is with Auras, yes. they are yes. amazing yes. physique-wise, yes. they are tall, buff, they walk like fucking buildings. Don't be racist, I am a building. But their face is just completely fucked. So how do we tackle this? I, I actually found the perfect solution. You go to Limsa because, believe me, Limsa needs you. Buy a mask, go to Limsa and just <laughs> punch the living shit out of someone. Hey, there is always a chance they deserved it. And if not, well, then first consider it your loss. After that, I remind you of the fact that we don't stop our losses. The city of Limsa doesn't need you, I need you. I also now realize that it is probably the best time to end this video. Alright then, you have your character now. You now know who to play. And don't you dare try to fool me by picking another race because I will find you. Don't believe me? Open the door. I cannot believe you made it this far, but yes, this is the end of the video. I'm also going to just say it. You are awesome. Thank you for staying till the end. And now that you are here, it would tremendously help me out if you hit that button below. Don't forget to drink water and stay hydrated. I love you all. Hope to see you all in the next video. Cheers. Cheers.